I've got a big bum. It's massive, but it's um, behind me, so... <laughs> Never bothered to do anything about it. In front of my face, I'll fix it. Behind me, couldn't give a fuck. <laughs> Let's talk about eating disorders for a minute, shall we? Let's talk about eating disorders. Oh, I'm sorry, anorexia, bulimia, boo-hoo-hoo, you bitches have had your five. It's people I meet that you should feel sorry for, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I grew up skinny. Yeah, I was one of them. I was one of them. <laughs> And we don't get any fucking sympathy, do we? Because no. I've got the opposite of body dysmorphia. Where I get naked and look in the mirror and I still feel like, Ooh, damn! <laughs> and my Facebook pic just tells me that's not quite the reality, is it? <sighs> See, when I was younger, I was really skinny, right? So when I was younger, I'd be at school and all my friends had eating disorders. So I'd be in the toilet cubicle at break time, right? And they'd all be in the loo being like this. Oh, take that, I've up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas I was called Twigface, so I'd be outside the cubicle, like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> The only problem is, as they've got older, they learn to go to the gym to lose the weight, so they're all working out, like, oh, pick up a tree. I, I'll go into New Look, pick up a size eight pair of jeans that don't fit around my left big toe. <laughs> I'm there for a good half hour going, mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> well, this is very strange. <laughs> Obviously, New Look had done something with their sizes. Uh, this has nothing to do with me. <sighs> I'm a size 14 now, bitches. A size 14! Yeah! I tell you who's cheering. The fucking skinny bitches fucking cheering. Fuck you with your cows. I got cellulite to the back of my knees. To the back of my knees! But I love cellulite. Oh, I love cellulite. <laughs> I see an orange in a fruit bowl, I get a wide on. Because yeah. <laughs> the way I see it, I might be a size 14, have cellulite to the back of my knees, but if I'm sat on your face, mate, means one thing. You are lucky! <laughs> Especially when I'm naked. Mm, so shy, I'm just so shy. <laughs> like, you know when you wake up in the morning next to some dude after you've just had sexy time? Do you remember those days? Sexy time. And you wake up first thing, right? And you quickly got to run to the bathroom to like brush your teeth and put on some makeup before he wakes up and is like, ah, who the fuck are you? <laughs> now maybe when Beyonce wakes up, she's like, I can see a halo, halo, halo. I woke up like the old when I wake up in the morning, I look like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> oh no, please stay, don't be scared. Louise has gone downstairs. I'm a sister. <laughs> she asked me to keep the bed warm for you. <laughs> don't relax, you can't get out through that window anyway. Relax, Louise, oh, she's coming. Louise, oh. <laughs> now here's my problem. I can't just walk out, right, because I'm butt naked in the morning. Why am I butt naked? Because my knickers are on the top of his cupboard somewhere, because you are flexible when you are drunk here. What? <laughs> I can't just walk out and let him see all my nakedness. Are you fucking joking, babe? I was breathing in for eight and a half hours. I'm not ruining the facade now. <laughs> I'm not ruining the facade now. I don't think you don't realise how much effort I put into wooing this fool, because when I make love clapping ground, when I make love... It's like a hip-hop video. Mm. <laughs> mm. Apart from I cry a little bit, you know, whatever. Because uh. <laughs> you know when a guy's making love to you from behind, right? And he's being all like romantic and sensual, right? And he's there behind you like this. <laughs> like bam, like bam, like bam, 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 bam. I'm going to beat that pussy up. I'm going to beat that pussy up. <laughs> Just really caring. <laughs> And you find yourself in front of him like this. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> the one that should have put a ring on it was Irish. Mm. He had a really sexy accent. He could say anything and make me really horny. He could be like, I fucking kill babies. Ah! <laughs> see it again, see it again. <laughs> if 
Now, did you know that cows have accents depending on the region that they're from? This is a fact. If you get this in a quiz, it's true. So, for example, like an English cow is like English, um, moo. <laughs> Standard, right? A Scottish cow would be like Scottish, <laughs> moo. <laughs> An Irish cow would be like, Irish. <laughs> I know it's a cow, but I still would. Like, oh, all them titties. It's amazing. <laughs> and a Welsh cow is like, hello, I'm from Wales, very friendly. Moo, moo. <laughs> However, this works for any country and any dialect. So shout out some countries. We'll do some cows. <laughs> Where? Go on. Australia. Australia. Oh, wow. Okay, hang on. Yeah. Where? Jamaica. 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 Australia. Poland. Poland is the agenda of the more, 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 more. Right. <laughs> Australian. Australian is that like Australian? Oh, hi. Hey, doll. How's it going? Doll, welcome to the coffee shop, doll. Yeah, just sit down. You were so big here. Yeah. I'm sorry, doll. Were you expecting good customer service? <laughs> no, we're just being relaxed, so we'll just bring it to you when we feel like it. <laughs> like a New York Jew. Um, <laughs> where he's like, hello, can I get a coffee to go? Hello, mo, mo. <laughs> um, and what did you say, Jamaican? Yeah, yeah thanks, Jamaican. Right, it's okay, cool. <laughs> give the white girl Jamaica. I see what you're doing there. <laughs> I mean, give the olive girl Jamaican. Let's keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't do Jamaica and Jamaican cow. Um, luckily for you lot, I've done black before. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Okay, Jamaican. Oh, yeah. Thinking about doing a Jamaican cow, when you do a Jamaican cow, you can't stand still because you have to start gyrating. <laughs> yes, yes. Because you know when you're in the club, them and the man, them come up behind you and he holds your proper clothes. He holds your proper clothes. And you're like, um, this is my personal space, that's your personal space. There be no personal space. <laughs> Culture, how we dance in the culture, how we dance.